Hey friends, it's Emily. Welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. For another book video, uh, as you know, I've done book shopping videos, little free libraries, hoping to show more book recommendations in the future. Uh, right now we are operating with an iPhone 8 Plus and natural light, which is quickly diminishing. So bear with me on that. Um, we're just doing this for the love of the game, right? So <laughs> hoping to maybe make some mucking to upgrades in the future, but right now we're working with what we got. Uh, <laughs> so if the lighting changes, I'm sorry if I get a little fuzzy, my phone is on its last legs. I've had it for about four or so years and it's, it has seen better days, but it's what I got. So I'm, I'm quite happy with it. This Get to Know Me video is a book tag that I've been seeing floating around the past few days. It was originated by the Love Librarian, AKA Caitlin, and Victoria's Romance Reads. It's called This or That, and I think it's a really great way to get a baseline for what my taste is, and I've been watching them, and it's a great way to get to know somebody just based off of a few this or that questions. And my taste doesn't have to match your taste, but that's the beauty of life, right? We all have differences and, uh, you know, different preferences and all that. And that's what makes everyone so intriguing. And that's why we tune into certain people because we want different perspectives or we want things that match ours. And I want recommendations with somebody who likes all the same things I do. I've been watching these and I found that it's a great way to just get a gauge on what the people you watch enjoy. And if those things align, then that's really helps with recommendations in the future. But if not, it's just a fun tag to watch. So thanks to them for creating it. I'll tag their handles um, in the description and let's just dive right into it. So the first question is cliffhanger or HEA, also known as happily ever after. This is tough because I do love me some angst, but I read books as an escape, right? I'm very escapist. I want what I cannot achieve in life. I want the unattainable <laughs> um, and if I can't get a happily ever after in my day-to-day -day life, eventually maybe, sure, but I want one in my book. I mean, for a series, it is nice to have a little cliffhanger that propels you along, but in general, I like when things are resolved because if it can't be in real life, let's have it be resolved on the page. The next question is hardcover or paperback? This one's also a tough one because the mood can fluctuate. I guess for reading, ooh, that's tough because it's like when it's like a biography, memoir, I kind of want the hardback. Definitely want the hardback to show on the library. I don't have a library behind me. I'm in the process of unpacking from a move and I don't have a bookshelf and I'm hoping to acquire one very shortly. So books are just scattered. If you can see right now, there are literally books on this desk. The way that I am filming this video is an iPhone 8 propped onto a crate with books on top. It it is what it is <laughs> behind the scenes magic right and oh gosh okay so in general for reading a paperback on the go if it gets a little loved along the way you can always just buy the eventually buy the hardback and store that as your lovely little display piece that is tough though because oh gosh I'm already failing at this miserably <laughs> I mean it really does depend I'm a fan of both, but I guess the paperback. The next question on the tag is angsty or cutesy. I, for someone who says they want a happily ever after, I sure do love the angst. I, you know, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, right? And I want a hard journey. <laughs> I want a troubled journey. I want there to be a few bumps, but not stupid bumps. Like, I want, like, I don't want any of that miscommunication stuff. Maybe like a microdose of that, but nothing like, sometimes you just read a miscommunication trope and it is just, I can't, I can't deal with it. It's like, grow up, grow up people. Like, let's communicate as adults, please. I'm already ranting, <laughs> so that's, that's, that's great. I would say angsty, but uh, gosh, I do love a cutesy. Like I do love, I mean, like a Pride and Prejudice. I don't want to say that's cutesy. It's not cutesy. It's just like realistic of the times, but you know, hand flex. 
Is that considered cute? Let me know. But to make a long story short, angsty. The next question is emotional or rom-com? I like to watch rom-coms. I don't love to read them. That could always change if I read a really good one. I truly don't read them enough. I always gravitate towards emotional, heavy, not always heavy, but not just let's just solve this very easily. It's always the path less traveled. The next question is book talk or bookstagram? Probably bookstagram considering I don't have TikTok, but I, it's not that I don't have, I'm not against TikTok. I fully support TikTok. I have an account for my small business that I don't really update, but I just know myself and as like a mode of self-preservation, I don't have it on my phone because I know that I would just lay in bed and three hours later be like, oh, there goes three hours of my life that I'll never get back. I totally support TikTok. I think it's done great things for small businesses, for content creators, fully support it all the way. And it seems like book content on TikTok is really cool. And that would just be a deep dive that I probably would never be able to get out of. The next question is people or objects on the cover? Also tough. I mean, I buy a book. I mean, I don't always buy a book based on a cover. I guess people, I mean, but I honestly, I don't mind objects either. I'm not, you know, ashamed of carrying around a book and seeing what people might think, but I'm like, it's come up in some of my book shopping videos where if there's like an animal or a creature <laughs> in a book, I'm more inclined to buy it. Like I love a swan, a deer. You know, if, if you've seen an interesting usage of an animal on a cover, on a romance, a historical romance, let me know. I've seen some deer, I've seen some swans. I'm always down for others. Um, but it's actually, it's not essential for me to have a person on the cover. I could go either way on this. I'm not gonna do this or that because I like both. The next question is new releases or backlists? Probably backlists. Once I find an offer that I really like, I really wanna read the rest of their stuff. I should be better about it though. I try and kind of break it up because if I read through a backlist too fast, they'll have, I'll have nothing left, right? So I kinda, of, I dose it out because I the last thing I wanna do is get through a backlist and have nothing left. It's like when you watch a TV show, I try and savor it for the time that I have so that you know, you're not waiting a year for the next season to come out. That's just me. I, I don't usually just binge through something. I really like to pace it out, which is, that could change. It's one of my weird things, but if you do that too, welcome to the club. Next up is TBR or free for all. I'm the definition of free for all, mood reader, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I have yet, I know, I have yet to make a Goodreads account. It's on the list. It's something where, it, the Goodreads is in here, baby. The Goodreads is in here, for, for better or for worse. It's, it's the burden I carry. It's my cross to bear. <laughs> I totally, I do have little lists on my phone, on my computer of books and authors I need to check out, but I will take the plunge eventually. I just, I don't know what's holding me back, but we we are definitely a free-for-all at the moment. Open door or fade to black? Um, I'll just leave it an open door. If you can do fade to black well and not have me be really mad or like, like that means you've done a very successful job. This happened when I read Edenbrook uh, by Julianne Donaldson and that's a historical romance five out of five, 10 out of 10, however you want to do it, recommend. I love that book. I will fight for that book. It is 2005 Pride and Prejudice told, it's not related to Pride and Prejudice at all, but it is just, it's the feeling that that gave me. If, if you feel what I'm feeling right now talking about that, you'll understand. But it is, it was, it's so well done. It was one of those where it totally, no steam at all, no heat, uh, but I mean, there's heat in the sense of chemistry, but no actual on the page stuff. And I, w I didn't even notice. I was, I loved that book so much that I didn't even, I wasn't even mad about it. I just, I devoured that book. It just, it broke me out of my, at the time, like year long reading slump. I had read, you know, I'd read here and there, but that just reignited my love for reading. 
and I can't recommend that book enough. Audiobooks, ebooks, or paperback? Um, I mean, I, if, see, I'm really picky about audiobook readers. I, I'm totally for audiobooks. It, they are very helpful for when you're driving, exercising, laying in bed, trying to fall asleep. I will say audiobooks definitely helped. My insomnia is not, and probably will never be cured, but truly that is something that makes me fall asleep very quickly. It relaxes me, gets my racing thoughts, thinking about one total storyline. Usually in bed, it's, you know, it's us creating our own fake narratives, but now we have an author to do it for us. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I always end up probably reading a book faster through uh, actual paperback because I'm just like flipping, flipping. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Um, but I do, I do really like audiobooks a lot and I think they serve a great purpose and they're essential for accessibility. And I just, when you find an audiobook narrator that hits, it just hits. And when you find one that doesn't hit, it can totally take you out of it and it can really alter the reading experience for me. So I'm hoping I also going into the next question, I do hope to delve more into ebooks too, because there is something about like just swiping to the next page to find out what happens next. That is just so gratifying. As you can see, I'm losing the light, but we're going to finish this. We're going to get through this because it's so fun. Uh, the next question is Kindle or not? Um, I don't have a Kindle. I've been wanting to buy a Kindle for so, so long and I was gonna buy one on the Prime Day sale and I missed it. I messed up and I know I did. Um, but I'm gonna save up and I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the Paperwhite. Uh, if you have a uh, preference from the basic Kindle to the Paperwhite, I would love to hear your thoughts. I think if I'm gonna spend the money, I might as well get the Paperwhite. So I'm totally for eBooks. I think that's great for when you're traveling because you can't just bring 10 paperbacks with you. Or if you do, you know, you are committed and I do respect you for that. The next one is matte or glossy? Uh, matte. Matte. <laughs> I'll buy a glossy if I buy, if, if, a, if I'm at a used bookstore and I see a book that I want and it's glossy, I'm still gonna buy the book. But if I can find a matte, wonderful. Next up, small town or dark romance? dark romance going back to the angst 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 new adult or adult um see this is where <laughs> i'm so new to some bookish terms so i'm sorry if i like totally read this wrong or relate this wrong but probably just adult um i'm not much of a YA reader anymore i'm sure if the right book came along totally would be open to reading that I'm just kind of stuck in it, not stuck, I'm very much enjoying it, but a historical romance rut. So, probably adult. Sprint read or marathon read a series? Mm. Like I said before, probably, probably marathon. Uh, take my time because once it's over, it's over. You can always read it again, but just knowing for the first time what happens, I, I like to pace it out a little bit. It is hard though with some really good ones. Alpha hero or cinnamon roll hero? Can we do like an alpha roll? Is that a thing? Or a s alpha cinnamon alpha? Can we just put the two together? This is my, this is my version, so I'm going to make it what I want it to make. <laughs> so, um, alpha, can we do alpha cinnamon roll, please? That, that's what we're doing. I can't choose. Don't make me choose. Baddie or damsel in distress heroine? Also tough because I do love a baddie. I do love a baddie, but there is something about once in a while, we all need to be saved in in situations, not in general. Um, we all are capable of, you know, standing up for ourselves. I, I mean, I'm getting into a soapbox now, but long story short, I'm just, all I'm saying is that we all have baddie in us, you know, and we all, deserve to be helped once in a while too. Um, so I do love a baddie. I do love a baddie. Can we do like baddies where there comes a time where the whole book, they're a baddie. And then there's like one situation where they need a little bit of 
you know, a rescue situation. Uh, I think that just, that's a, but eventually, I also do love a baddie that rescues the hero, you know, like, ooh, ooh, like, I love that too. I'm getting, I'm getting on a tangent now, but I really do love both. I love a baddie and I love a damsel in distress moment, not an overall theme. I'm just going to veer from the path and do baddie that, you know, saves a hero in distress because that's also a, a I love it. It doesn't happen a lot. But when it does, if it's done well, so good. Next one. Slow burn or insta-love? Slow burn, baby. We are all about the angst. Give me the long glances. Give me the hand flexes. Uh, give me the enemies to lovers, the hate to love. I do love a friends to lovers too, but maybe with some angst, like bad circumstances. Oh gosh, all all of the things. I no, don't make it easy. Doesn't have to be toxic, but don't make it easy. You know, like we don't need like a toxic situation. But I don't. I mean, I'm sure love at first sight exists for some people, but I think also part of love at first sight, you have to at least know the person too and understand their soul, right? So insta love, that's a tough one for me. It's not as believable, but if it's done well, I'm sure it's great, but slow burn all the way, slow burn, slow, slow, slow. So as you can see, the light is fading away. I'm glad you ventured into this uh, video with me going from day to night. This is something that I love to do. I, I'm still getting better at it. I'm learning every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this has given you a baseline of what my taste is like. I hope to do recommendations soon, but in the meantime, I have a ton of book shopping videos and used book shopping and thrift book shopping and hauls. And I hope that you take the time to look at those if you so wish. I also do a lot of little free library tours where I go around to the little free libraries in my neighborhood or in other towns and to show you what's inside. A lot of that content for now and hoping to branch more into recommendations and other tags and I hope to get to know more of you along the way. This is just something I'm very passionate about. I don't get to talk about it all the time and I hope you stick around and if you do, I'll see you next time.